Why, hello there, boys and girls. Today we're going to be playing Thief Simulator on the Nintendo Switch. We're at version 1.4, which means this actually gets frequent updates. That's impressive. Uh, I have no idea what this is. It was originally $10, and uh, I was like, and then it was like, we're going to shove this thing to 90% off, I think. It was 90 or 99 It was literally $2. And I was like, okay, yeah, why not? And so, of all, like always, when I play a new game, we're going to go through all these... Um, this menu stop and see what all it has to offer. Language, what languages is it in? Clearly this is a European style game. <laughs> Controller sensitivity, reverse access, hard mode, no thank you. Controls. Uh, credits play. Let's just go ahead and play it. Is this made by the same people that made, um... Hey, it's me, Vinny. Pick up that crowbar and listen up. We got a lot of ground to cover. What crowbar? Oh. The Lombardis paid your bail. They're generous men, but they're all about reciprocity, if you get what I mean. Let's see if you're up to the job. Knock over that house for me. The last one. Is this made by the same people that made that one game? Uh, the house party game with Game Grumps in it? Okay, story. Quick shot the crowbar. Okay, you can add uh, you can add to the quick slot fast usage by pressing Y. Press Y button. Okay. I'm trying, but okay. So do I go here and then I press? Um. Okay, you can add items to the quick slot for fast usage. Go to inventory, select item, and press Y. I... It's... Where, though? This thing has a skill tree. Are you kidding me? Okay, there we go. So if I'm understanding... Wow, that is some... No, it just has a very similar uh, feel to it, I think. So we press quick slot. So they want me to break the fence like right here because, see, the tenant hears me, so what am I supposed to do? See, if she keeps looking in, then it's... Then I probably won't be able to get in if she keeps looking out. Okay, realistically, unless they know that you're coming, why would they continuously look out the fence? I mean, I mean window.
Oh, God damn it. So I already got fucked up. You've been cop. Back to menu. Back to this. Let's go to checkpoint. You can add items to the quick slide. Blotter, blotter, blah. Damn, what is this? Wow, that is a long load point. That says break the fence, but there's not... See, okay, for starters, why would you rob a house? <laughs> oh, they want me to do this one. Why would you rob a house when there's somebody there? That doesn't make logical sense. Am I basically in tutorial mode? Is that it? Fuck. Hurry the hell up. Okay, cool. Some dope left a flashlight on the ground. Take it, but don't let nobody see the light and call the cops. job. Time to redistribute a little wealth. More curious as to why I would steal a toaster. Time to bail, man. Get in the car. Don't let nobody see you with that crowbar. Unwanted attention, unequipped tools, and turn off the flashlight to avoid it so... Okay, so how do I turn off the flashlight? I mean, how do I turn... Yeah, how do I turn off everything? Okay, I can do that, but how do I, like, this game, oh my god, okay, so, I can't jump over that, that would make so much, that would make way more sense to jump over that fence, I was waiting on that. Uh, yeah, but it's not showing me how to... Flashlight will help you see the loot in the dark. Remember, you are easier to detect with the flashlight on. No shit, but it's not showing me how to turn the flashlight off. Time to bail, man. Get in the car. Don't let nobody see you with that crowbar.
Oh, for some weird reason, when you open it, it does that right there. It doesn't actually do that. They're like, here, steal some shit. And all I stole was like, maybe $40. Whoever designed this game, you need to work on this. Sweet. Please tell me I can put this in the first person mode. I guess not. Hold on a minute. I want to check something. Damn it, I was really hoping that it would at least, they would have been smart enough to give us, um, uh, some stuff on this. Oh my god, the controls for this, for this is just garbage, seriously. And, like, you can't even see myself, like, where am I? Okay, so I guess that's where I needed to go, whatever. This ain't a bad game, but the controls are janky at best. Good job, man. This just might work. Go get some sleep and we'll pick this up in the morning. Is that seriously my bed? Cots are not expensive. Did they really? Wow, they gave it like a Skyrim-esque time bullshit. Check the computer. There's a few things I need to tell you. Tools for Thieves lets you buy new kit online. But you might not have what it takes to use them all. Account balance is 15 bucks. Black Bay, oh my god. Rin a thug! <laughs> Here you can buy secrets. Hot tips on what's where, who's guarding it. I get it, okay. Wait, do they gotta tell me more? House ripoff, that's funny. Okay, so I didn't even steal forty dollars. I stole fifteen dollars in a toaster. What? Whatever, let's just go there and see what I can do. Seriously, why can I not put this in a, a third person mode? I would be able to play this game so much better. Let me check the settings. That might be what I need to do. Sometimes they put them at like these, these sensitivity levels that don't make any damn sense. Welcome back. Made 20 bucks on a toaster. Whoever designed the idea behind, open the door and then get in the car. I want to smack you. Howdy. That was like the whitest howdy I've ever heard. Howdy. I am from the south. I don't know when that's ever going to be useful. So I wonder if that's the only house I can knock over. Repair cost one, repair cost two. Oh my god.
I don't know. I'm taking a random chance. I don't know if it'll let me rob this house, but I'm going to try. Really? I have to have a... You know how un, you know how unlogical that sounds? Like, hey, we're going to, uh, in order to get into this house, like, I could get in there. Okay, never mind. You can run away from police by leaving the neighborhood, or you can hide in a closet, a dumpster, under the bed, and wait until the police leave. If the visibility eye is red, someone saw you, and the police will find you. Well, shit. Well, you know, I'm trying to get over the goddamn fence. Seriously, I can't get over... I don't know how I got over this fence. I don't know why... Whoever designed this game, I want to smack you for this shit. Because you're like, nah. We're not going to give you a high enough jump or be able to grab onto ledges or anything. Well, clearly she's not going to do anything. That's what I'm looking at it as, you know? <sighs> okay, this game is so fucking janky. Oh my god, I have to have... Wow, so that was the whole idea behind some people saying, Fuck skill trees. I completely understand it now. Freeze! I literally couldn't do anything. You're a cop? This game is so janky. Like, I can't jump over a wall. I can't get over certain things. In order to go anywhere, I have to have a skill for it. It's like, when was this a thing? It's like, you're trying too hard. I'm going to try this one more time. Okay, how is my car blocking traffic? Just going to be straight honest with this, is that this game has potential, but the controls in it just... The controls in this game are awful. Okay, I think that just means that if I get a micro camera, I can put one in there. Damn. I was hoping it would GTA and allow me to hit a pedestrian, but never mind. Oh, okay, so I can just like park right here.
Okay, I think it said I can sleep in my car. Is that what I just read? Okay. Even though I left my fucking car door open, but whatever. Okay, I have no fucking idea how to properly use anything. Like, every time I want to use, like, if I try to figure out how to use a flashlight, it's fucking impossible. Buy hints from Greenview 109. I got over the fence, like, a minute ago. How did I do it? Okay. I don't know. Let me see. That's the only thing I know in here that's worth value, so... Like, okay, I jumped over the fence. I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to jump over the fence, you know? Should be able, it said. This requires a skill. I don't know why I'm incapable of getting over the fucking ledge. What in the world? Are those the tenants? They look really fucked up as models if they are. Seriously, is there like no way to get over the- oh god damn it. Guess we're playing this situation again. Do I have an opportunity to break something? Can I break out? Well, now we know. Let's not do that. Okay, so apparently I am capable of that.
Okay, so I did break a window. Uh, open slowly. Okay, so I guess... I have whoa hello that just dis that that's so jank dude this game is so broken I'm just gonna grinch the house and steal everything I can. get to it in time ironically it's like they're trying to find me but I'm just gonna hide in here again they're like we saw you you're stealing our shit but now we can't find you in our own home I can't open that door this is as far as this room will let me go each time so I need to figure out how I think the only real way I'm gonna be able to do this is if like My, my idea right now is that I'm going to have to do one of two things. Either What? Okay, see, I, I'll for the time being, I'll steal small items, but I wonder if they'll look at the TV and be like, wondering why is my TV right here. Oh shit.
So that's why you want to do that. Because the door, yeah, the door's locked, so this is going to make it a lot harder to leave. How did she not see me just now? Oh, there's money right there. Frankly, I'm just trying to figure out how the fuck to get out of here at this point. Okay, so since I smashed those others, I think I might have a higher chance. Since I smashed those, I think I should be... Fuck. God damn it. Why must you make this complicated? You know, I, I honestly, I wanted to end this game like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> But I've gone into an hour-long bullshit of this. Just put the fucking landline in there. I 
Oh god damn it. So how did I open this? So we've got a bunch of crap that I have That's probably not worth anything. Are people just like leaving their phones everywhere or something? Is that just like something the Ibrickson Is that just like something people do? Like they just leave their phones laying around and shit? He's laying in there so fuck, she's right there. I think my best bet probably right now is to, I'd, I'll have to go through another window and try to get out because obviously, are you fucking kidding? Jesus Christ. At this point, I'm really too, at this point, I'm tempted to just like. They saw me run into the closet, yet they didn't even stop me. We don't know where he went. He just went into a room and vanished. This is like budget. Oh my god, I just got the title. Budget GTA. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? What are you? Okay. Clearly that's a horrible, horrible mistake, so my best bet is to go way down here to this section and to hide into this closet because clearly that's a horrible mistake. Okay, while you're in here, you literally, while the cops are called, you can't hit pause. So this game got like an average rating online. You know what, I'm gonna chill right here, can I? Okay, that's the only time I'm capable of getting out. Okay, so quick slide. So, there is no way of me to do anything so I'm gonna stop right here for just a minute I will continue this while I have the opportunity but I am past on my end I have played 57 minutes of this game so uh, we're gonna go to a part two here in just a in just a minute just to figure out how to get out of this house at least so if you're new to my channel like subscribe and notification bell and come back for more whenever you want so thank you for watching if you if you want to support me there are links down below as well um, to, to, if you want to support me for like buy me a coffee and coffee.com so thank you for watching later